Hi everyone. So many of you guys are asking us what kind of investments does exist and in what can they invest? So first of all, you can buy single family houses. Single family houses, you can either buy them in a state that they need renovation. You can renovate and then sell them. It's called flipping. You can also buy them, uh, fix them up and then rent them, rent them out. And these are rentals and these are gonna generate cash flow for you. Now I wanna talk with you about the famous BRR bear method, buy, rehab, rent, refinance, repeat. In that way, basically you are buying properties, then you rehab them, you rent, refinance and do it all over again. In order to do it successfully, what you need to do is to buy properties that are below the market value. Because in that case, you can basically get all of your money out and you might even have um, infinite return on the property. Let's see an example. If you have a property for $150,000 and you're buying it for cash and then you refinance it and you get 70% out, you're gonna have $105,000 back. But if you bought this property for $70,000 and then you refinance by $150,000, you're gonna get your $70,000 back and another $35,000 into your pocket, which is gonna leave infinite return. Why? Because let's say this property is a duplex and it's being rented for $2,000. Each floor is a thousand dollar. So basically the general rule is that most of the time the expenses of the property, management, insurance, taxes, maintenance, and mortgage, all of those are gonna be around 50% of the property cash flow. So if the cash flow is two thousand dollars, it's gonna leave you another one thousand dollars after all of these expenses. So you can buy this property for $70,000 and then refinance have another $35,000 in your pocket, all right? And still have a $1,000 a month cash flow after all of the expenses. What is the return on such an investment? It's infinite because you don't have any money into the property. Now, you're gonna ask yourself, how can I do such an investment? So in order to get into properties below market value, most of the time you will need to reach directly to the owner. So how do you do that? This is this is called wholesaling. Because with wholesaling, we are teaching you how to generate leads of distressed properties or distressed owners. What does it mean? A distressed property is gonna be a property that needs re renovation. So let's say the property that you got for $70,000, needs $20,000 renovation, you're gonna renovate it, you're gonna buy it for cash, $70,000, or with hard money, you're gonna renovate for another 20,000, and we can help you with that because you can take a bridge loan and basically bring only $20,000 into the deal. For a $90,000 property, all you need to bring is $18,000, and you're gonna get 100% of the renovation cost. So for example, this deal, you can then refinance for the market value, which is 150,000. You're gonna get your money back and some extra to give you infinite return, all right? So basically, how do you get to such landlords? So what you need to do is generate leads of, uh, for example, auctions, or God forbid, people that got divorced, or people that passed away, or inheritance, or auctions. So all of that can generate um, leads that there are much higher chances for the landlord to sell. Another such list that we like is tired landlords. What is a tired landlord? A tired landlord, and all of this is available only in America because you have all of the technology and all of the public records to basically um, generate lists based on certain criteria. For example, all of the owners that are 70 uh, years old and older 
living far from the property and so basically they're tired from from managing it and they bought it right after the crisis let's say 2010 to 2012 so they have a lot of equity in the property we had a client for example we had a student two students that met in our class and they met a landlord she's 72 she owns uh, 200 properties she started buying properties when she was 19 and she needed to sell a property because she wanted to give her a grandchild that got married she wanted to give her like a hundred thousand dollars so she had a property that um, she wanted to sell and she didn't care about the price almost at all she already got an offer for one hundred and sixteen thousand dollars and our student approached her and offered a 118 and the property worth two hundred and fifty thousand dollars they made seventy five thousand dollars on this deal, what was important for Joanne, Joanne the, the owner, what was important for her is basically that the closing gonna be after the wedding. So they reached to her in uh, January. She wanted to close on March. And she also had a tenant over there that she wanted that the tenant gonna stay for six months. Why? Because she really liked him. She didn't want to throw him away. Okay, and he was paying $500 below the market value. He paid $1,000 instead of $1,500. So a lot of people, a lot of investors steered away from this deal because of that. But we see that as an opportunity. We had two other students. They found a, an owner that had a property worth $235,000 that um, was going into foreclosure. So he's gonna lose the property all together so they offered him they got into a contract uh, for one hundred and ten thousand dollars and after inspection they could drop off the price to ninety seven thousand dollars and we helped them in a joint venture to find a buyer for the deal they flipped the contract this is what wholesaling do you flip the contract you basically, once you have the contract, you can choose if you want to sell the contract, if you want to keep the property, fix it up and make it a rental, or you can fix the property and sell it either to another investor or on the market. So what they decided to sell it to another investor that bought it for $160,000, he also made a great deal because the value was $235,000 they made $63,000 on this deal. So all of these are techniques for you to basically buy properties, renovate, refinance them, and repeat uh, rent, refinance, and repeat that process again and again and again. And as long as you're doing it with properties that you're getting below the market value, with the techniques that I mentioned and that we're teaching, um, you can do it um, like a snowball, like it's an infinite growth of more and more and more deals that you can do forever and ever. So guys, if you want to learn more about how to do this technique, how to get these deals below market value, how to locate and how to build your own portfolio and start investing and getting your money um, to work much better for you instead of buying on the market buy below the market value and refinance we can help you with that all you need to do leave your uh, information here and you're gonna see our webinar and you can get uh, a free educational information about all of that so guys thank you and we're gonna see you on the other side